Hello guys and girls, Screezilla here and I hope you're all well. Today I'm doing a bit of an experimental video, something a little bit different. And today I'm going to be talking to you about some interesting items. Now, these little videos are going to be short. They're just going to be about some interesting spots on tanks. They're not full history of videos. I, I will look at doing a full history of, of the M2 medium tank at some stage because it's quite an interesting tank. And to me it kind of looks like an owl. Um, yeah, it's a weird looking tank, especially with the uh, spare machine guns mounted on the top like that. Gives it like little ears. Um, anyway, enough of my weird, cute little tankness. What I wanted to talk to you about was the bullet deflector plates. Now, what they are, are deflector plates, and they are located on the rear of the tank. Now then, they are located, as you can see, just on the back of the tank. If you look to the back half of the tank, you'll see a metal plate just over the tracks, uh, by the engine section, just over the fuel tank there. And you see they're angled in. If we look from the back, you can see that they're angled slightly, just by the exhaust pipes there. And they're angled in such a way they deflect bullets. Now, these plates were actually designed to deflect bullets down. Okay, I can hear you asking, why do you want to deflect a bullet down when you're in a tank? Because it's not really much use. One of the interesting things about the M2 was its amount of machine guns. It was a very well-armed tank for light machine guns. You've got two at the front, two on the sponsons, two more on the sponsons on the back. So you've got six machine guns in total. You've also got one extra one in the turret. But the back ones are what we're going to look at. And these back ones, as you can see, swivel around. But what the design was for was actually to deflect the bullets. Now we'll zoom in a little bit here, get our machine gun aimed down. Now unfortunately it doesn't actually work in game because the bullet just passes straight through the plate here, which is a shame. But you can see when we're firing, the machine gun rounds, let's try and get it turned in a little bit, they would just be hitting that plate there. And what that would do is deflect them into the ground. So down at this point, and location here. And as you can see in our exhaust pipes here, there are a couple of bullets that have ricocheted into those. I still hear you asking, why do you want to deflect them down? Well, it's simple, for trenches. What this was designed for was so you could get your M2, go and find a nice juicy trench with lots of enemies in there. You would drive up to it, protected in your tank with its magnificent armour, uh, stopping all of the uh, 303 machine gun rounds. Drive over the, drive over it like so. Stop in this position while the enemy are underneath you. Get your machine guns on target. Fire them off. Spread lots of bullets downwards. So as you see in this position, the bullets would actually go down into the trench and hit any poor souls underneath you. Now, of course, this turned out to be useless absolutely useless. Did not work at all. Neither did the sponsor mounted machine guns. This tank was a bit of a flop. It was very outdated when it came in. But the idea was actually used again for the M5 light tank in the Normandy campaign to some success. So it wasn't a completely stupid idea. The ability to deflect bullets is quite a good idea, especially for going around corners or for shooting downwards, like such. Now as you see in this position, they won't go straight down, they will go down at about an angle of... No, I'm terrible at angles, they'll go down about that sort of angling. So they would go down and hit just behind the tank, so it could sit over a trench like this, fire and all those bullets would go raining down on the enemy. So, bullet deflectors on the M2. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I hope you found it interesting, something a little bit different. As I said, I'm going to be looking at doing a couple more of these videos down in the future. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you've noticed on tanks that you go, what was that for? And I'll try and help answer your questions. Until next time, have a lovely day and this is Screezilla out. Bye bye.